Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place of Binding Wise Afterbirth Plus. Winning decently lately. We're coming up to a little bit of a Goddard Damarong moment though. Sorry, it's a first video of the day. Warming up. I actually de age vocally the more I speak. When I wake up in the morning, I, I don't feel like P. Diddy. I feel like Norman Rockwell. I was trying to think of the oldest person I know. By the end of the day, I sound like a sprightly young 38 year old. At the start of the day, man, it's one day from retirement. Um. Delirium. Mega Satan Delirium. Okay, so Maggie has the most richness left on the posted notes. Yo, LR4J0NTF. I have to say, it's gonna be a speed upgrade. I forgot about that. I have to say, we've been doing <clears throat> a really good job. Keeper runs notwithstanding, everything else, you know, we've been knocking out a lot of posted note minutia still need to get the lost by the way that's still on the agenda if i have to do it the old-fashioned way i will but i would much rather just get a missing poster and i don't th i mean i think that that's there's a distinction to be drawn between easy and simple obviously i could look up the seeds that uh allow you to just get the lost you know by uh Oh, this seed has a mullaboom early on, and then on this seed, you know, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. Fulfills the necessary conditions. There's no artistry to that at all. It's just rote busy work. It's like your teacher giving you homework that's like, you know, write your name down 500 times. It's just work for work's sake. I want, and admittedly, we would get a reward out of it. We would get the lost. However... We could also just get missing poster. I mean, it showed up dozens of times probably prior to me recognizing that it's the key that we need. So I'd rather do it that way. Um, it's a little much, Maggie, to go a whole floor with zero consumables. Oh, thank you. Disregard. We did get several battery charges, now that I think about it. Not really that useful, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. So... It's a very strange permutation of the turtlings fight, which are actually gurglings. This guy, um, he could still chase. No, he cannot still chase, so he literally cannot hurt us at all. Alrighty then. And another speed upgrade. I did want to get two keys so we could check out the double key room. But we were not given the opportunity to do so. Okay, this is this is rough. Oh my god, the 1.30 speed let us get through there. Even I was like three quarters convinced that was not going to work. Despite it being the only way you're ever going to make it through this room to begin with. You ever wonder like how your brain... Like I'm not saying my brain's particularly amazing. But like what is your brain doing when it comes up with a plan like that? I'm not a neurologist... I'm not a cognitive behavioralist, but what, you know, does any, do we know? I know, you're, well, the brain is so complex, we don't even know. The cool thing about the brain is that it named itself, did you, okay, we're gonna get hit here. No, we're not, yes, we are, yes, we are. But, like, is it running simulations up there, and it's like, okay, it's like Doctor Strange, you know, this is the only outcome that this works in? I don't know. I mean, obviously, I don't know, but does anybody know? What a ruthless series of consumables so far. I use my lone bomb to try to get a key. What do we get? Single red heart. It's gonna be one of those games. I just think it's like, I, I've talked about it before. It's been like a recurring, you know, a shower thought for me. As I think about like major league baseball outfielders, and I know that the answer to what I'm about to ask is as simple as just, well, they practice a lot, but you know, from the pitcher's right hand, a 90 mile an hour fastball comes out. It gets hit by a bat, you know, a couple of hundred yards away. I don't know, how far is it? Maybe like 100 meters away. 
Excuse me, sir. It's like in your brain, it's the size of a freaking chickpea. It gets smacked. It goes, uh, you know, 45 feet up into the air on a curved arc, a parabola. And these uh, outfielders, they look at it for a second. And then they go, yeah, I know where that's going to land. And they stand in the spot where it's going to land. They put up their glove and they grab it. That's amazing to me. I played baseball for like eight years. And I, so I'm familiar with it. But I mean, baseball always, to me, I, I find it a very boring spot, uh, sport to watch. But it illustrates the power of the human mind to me. The fact that like, you know... And it, not even catching the ball. Catching the ball is like an incredible calculation that I can't even basically fathom. But like throwing the ball from outfield to home plate, calculating the exact amount of power slash angle required to get it where you need it to go, not overshoot it, not undershoot it. Again, I know it takes a lot of practice. I'm just saying like human brain is like a, it's like a meaty wolf from alpha. Dude, I just... Like... We got spider bite, so that's cool. I'm hip. I'm with it. Taka 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 taka. But you know, all we really gotten on this entire run are, are speed upgrades. You know, I'm happy to get a speed upgrade. I'm not unhappy to see a speed upgrade, especially as Maggie. But. You know, I, I kind of was hoping that maybe we'd have a chance to get to our item room at some point. But like, I've given up hope that this is going to give me a key. Golden bombs. Um, well, I, I'm going to save you. I, well, there could be a key here. There wasn't, but Spirit Heart's nice nonetheless. This should be our second secret room. Bombs are key. Wouldn't even do anything. Um, by Jesus. <laughs> Oh my word. Um, okay, well, yeah, sure, give me the money, I guess, if you got it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know, let's look for the quarter. This run is really, really bad right now. And I don't say that just to... Well, I mean, might as well, I guess. But I don't say that just to be like, uh... You know, make myself look better because the run... You know, I'm complaining and that makes me seem victimized or something. It's not like that. It's really just like, if you look at all the, the dice rolls and the coin flips that we've had so far, this is staggering. I'll be the first to tell you. I love uh, Spider Bite, or I, I decently like Spider Bite as an item at least. Pa 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 poker chip, no thank you. Just take me to a deal with the devil, okay. Great red chest. We still, at some point, the game's setting us up for a train wreck. And it's up to me to try to break out of it like a, you know, an MMA flip or something like that. But we have no DPS upgrades as of the third floor. That isn't unwinnable, but it's a long way to go. So I'm trying to think of how do we... Because this isn't just a run where we want to win. We want to beat Mega Satan. You don't need to be much stronger most of the time uh, to beat Mega Satan than you do to beat, like, you know, the chest or something like that. But we do need to be able to have bombs to get the key pieces or go to a self-sacrifice room. A self-sacrifice room honestly is probably the more likely outcome right now. Just due to the fact that we also have Yum Heart. And even with the health down, we're at 4... Maybe 5 HP? And this is where Isaac starts to become a little bit... You know, if this was your first run playing The Binding of Isaac, you would be like, I don't understand why this game is popular. It just seems like you walk around and, and shoot behind you a lot. And, you know, the uh, you come by it honestly. It's not, it's not untrue. The hard part now becomes, like, I believe, here's my plan right now. Here's my, my tentative 
strategy. I believe we're pretty much destined to get a, uh, a sacrifice room at some point. So if I have to... If I have to take a deal with Devil in order to get some kind of DPS improvement, or like even the, a shadow of an inkling of the dream of Guppy, yes, I will do it. Runs become a lot more difficult, by the way, uh, when you can't get into any of your item rooms. This is a challenge run. Forget about brains, dude. Forget about ultra hard. Don't forget about ultra hard. It was very tough. Jeez, NL, stop talking about brains. No, I mean the... You know what I mean. I was talking about the Bob's brain challenge, not the meaty bit of flesh between your ears. Like, I'm really, really doing everything in my power to find the keys right now. We even looked for a secret room. I mean, here's the thing. Even this looks like a second secret room. Thank God we didn't have to do it ourselves. That's a regular secret room, which also gives us shop access for the cost of a bomb. Full health. Nice to know, actually, in case we end up playing a self-sacrifice room. Spoonbender's very good, but at some point, and I'm just I'm cleaning up the bottom of the floor real quick, just in case there's a self-sacrifice room. Spoonbender is is really great, but at some point we need tear effects. Or sorry, we need not tear effects. We just need damage. Or rate of fire would also be anything really at this point that ups our DPS would be a welcome change. We could have every tear effect in the game, but doesn't necessarily help us get any killing done. Okay, no self sacrifice room. It's probably a merciful situation for us to be in. Be very careful, because I think we are maybe on half a spirit heart. You know, we lose one spirit heart to the, uh... Well, no, we shouldn't be, because we did that room back there. So, I don't know. We might be on, like, two and a half spirit hearts. Which is more than enough to be feeling relatively safe. So, we could go to the shop. It might be a library, but in all likelihood, it's the shop. Um, with this, with this bomb, that is. <clears throat> I think I would rather save the bomb in the hopes of finding, like, a... I mean, really, I don't think we're in do-or-die territory yet, but we need to blow up Tinted Rocks, try to find Small Rock. You know, we need to be able to blow up Stone Chest, hope for Cricket's Head, hope for Steven, uh, or, or at least turn a bomb into a key so we can go to item rooms. Because we are probably going to be leaving our third floor 13 minutes in, which is way behind average. Yeah, no thank you. Alright, big horn. Not really the kind of enemy we want to fight with uh, a bomb. Not really the kind of boss we want to fight, like, at all right now. Because I'm not sure if you're... You know, you, you're very smart people if you watch these episodes. Probably the smartest people on planet Earth. Um, suck on that, Neil deGrasse Tyson. You can run the numbers for yourself, and you can see that... This is looking to be a little bit of a war of attrition right now. You know, this is not the, uh, the Six Days War. This is the 100 Years War. Help. It was a little closer comfort. I think probably we have done about one-third damage to him, and two-thirds of the damage has come from his own bombs exploding in his face. Or at least the fire from his own bombs, like, making creep on the ground. Dude, I really, I'm, I'm a little congested. I would really like if you would die so that I can caffeinate and also clear my throat. 100% over the sickness, just a latent laryngical scarring. Is that a word? Probably. Okay, a deal with the devil. Allow me to clear my throat. <clears> throat> and, uh, <clears throat> thank you. Now I will caffeinate. Matchbook. Not what we want. Okay, I mean, 
I have to be honest with you, if those items were even slightly conducive to victory, I would have picked them up. Because I'm in a beggars can't be choosers sort of mindset right now. But neither Ghost Baby nor Necronomicon provide enough value to cut off a deal with the Angel Path. I'm not even sure they're worth the HP that they cost to begin with. So we got one more floor at the very least of probably a little bit of, uh, you know, scraping. But all I mean by that is, you know, it's going to take us some time to get there. But I have the utmost faith we will get there. How do you guys like to structure your day? Because this is the first video I'm recording today, as hinted a couple of times. You like to put your hard stuff at the start of the day or your hard stuff at the end of the day? I think, uh, I know it sounds like pseudoscience, but I really do believe that, you know, there are morning people and night people. I thought that I was a night person uh, when I was younger, but that's just because I went to bed late. I don't think going to bed late necessarily makes me a night person. I, weirdly enough, I think I'm a, I'm a morning person trapped in a... A late riser's body when I wake up that's when I'm at I don't want to say my most productive but that's I want to put my most difficult and mentally taxing tasks near the start of the day as strange as it may sound now my wife is very much the opposite she uh, probably hits like a cognitive peak like four to six hours before bed let's say I am just brain dead the closer I get to bedtime, the dumber I get. If you try to have a real conversation with me within like half an hour of when my brain's gonna shut off, you're gonna be like, you're already asleep. I, nobody likes, I think, to get up early. Nobody likes the feeling of being, you know, underslept. But when it comes to like when I wanna put my most difficult tasks, I like them early on. So really the game's just playing my game right now. How do you feel about that? You give me the statistically what's likely to be the most difficult run of the day. Maybe the week, maybe my life. First run of the day, you just guaranteed a full day full of wins, mister. You son of a gun. I don't know, is there such a thing as an afternoon person? Because I do, I mean, I feel like everybody given the choice would be an afternoon person, except for people who are like, you know, they love the nap. I'm not a nap sort of fellow, as mentioned many times. I would rather spend a tired afternoon, even if I am, like, very tired. Short of uh, having, you know, flown from a different time zone. I would rather just, like, spend a couple of hours watching a bad movie when I'm tired than, than take a nap. A nap's more trouble than it's worth for me. But otherwise, you know, if you could give me my most mentally taxing duty at like 2 p.m., I would love it. Now, keep it in mind, I usually wake up around like 10. I might still consider that a morning person sort of thing. So, um, basically, I'm just talking nonsense because it's, it's going to be that sort of run right now. Rest assured, by the way. He didn't see it. No, I saw it. The self-sacrifice room is of the most unbelievable and utmost importance right now. My thinking for the present moment is uh, hold off just just for now. You know, I want to see what we get in our item room now that we actually have enough keys to be confident that we're going to get in there. I mean, it's right here, so obviously we are. I also want to give the game the chance to give me another deal with the devil just because statistically the deal with the devil items tend to be more transformative. Um, I will take Brittle Bones. I am a fool! No, I'm not. I'm a genius. Okay, um, there's a lot of conflicting emotions here. I thought Brittle Bones gave us Bone Tears. That's incorrect. Instead, it replaced all of our hearts with Bone Hearts, which seems horrible and actually could compromise our deal with the Devil Chance very easily. However, is also great. Two. Hear me out here. Actually also great. for doing uh, self-sacrifice room shenanigans. No joke whatsoever. I will try this real quick. Two of spades. All right, well, you know, why not? Yes. I think I will take this as well, just to see. Ace of clubs. It's enough keys for now. Um, 
I don't mind losing some bone hearts in order to get a uh, Mega Satan to possibly happen. Humbling Bundle was also like, I mean, come on. You're going to take Humbling Bundle. We're about to lose our deal with the Devil Chance. There's not a whole heck of a lot we can do about it right now on a room like this. Yep. <clears throat> it didn't compromise our deal with the Devil Chance. Okay, that's... I'm surprised. Let's put it that way. Now, in order for me to feel confident at uh, throwing a decent chunk of bone hearts away, like even... Okay. Uh, I, I do need... No, 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 no. I do need a yum heart charge. And I also need some damage. Full stop. Obviously. I can't go and sack our only advantage, which is HP, without having some kind of... I don't want to say guarantee, but like a good chance... That we're going to have enough power to even beat Mega Satan if we get there. Because we're like literally going about half the speed we should be going. Thank you. Thank you. I will use my other bomb to do this as well. Just wait. He's going to pop up. Please work. Very acceptable. Yes. We will take... The Pact. Now. These are dangerous times, friends. We still offensively are in a just terrible spot. Check this out. Your boy loves Magic Mush. I'm willing to work for it. Um, we're still just in like an awful spot, admittedly. We're going to do this. I would prefer... If possible, I hate it. <laughs> I would prefer, if possible, not to lose many hearts here. If we could, if we could afford to make that happen, I'd be a happy man. These heart containers are still pretty precious. Our stats are still not that good. This is a, an advanced level Isaac run right now. Okay, take one bone heart for me. That's fine. Now, what comes next? It's not spirit arts. They're a little bit too expensive for what we get, I think. All right. This one, on the other hand, is, is quite cheap. We will buy that heart for five cents. We'll use it as a single heart, not as multiple hearts. If we have to leave getting one key piece, so be it. Rosary. Very useful, actually. Okay, first key piece. Thank you. Thank you for getting stuck on what appears to be a flat spike, but is actually your nightmare. Easy. You are a golden god <clears throat> of pure benevolence. Look at this. Never let anybody tell you the fire is gone from my belly and Isaac. 21 minutes, like base level stats almost, and here we are, as Maggie, having gotten the opportunity to go to Mega Satan. This might be a 50 minute run. That's okay. At least we knocked it out. You know, it's pretty valuable for us. We might be able to buy the compass still as well. Thank you. Now, we could teleport if we want. That would be very dumb. That would be a dumb idea. Clever, but dumb. Compass, please. Comp Ace of friggin' clubs. All right. Well, either way, um, we're leaving this floor a lot better than we found it. Weird bone hearts. Humbling bundle. Speed shot speed. Mega Satan. The mark. The pact, sorry. Now, what's the next step? Well, we have to build a run capable of beating Mega Satan. I'm not convinced that we're there yet. You. 
I'm like genuinely not convinced that we're there yet. And if you are, first off, what's it like to be Cobalt Streak, the greatest Isaac player of all time? Secondarily, how? Nothing, like, rate of fire aside, everything else on this run looks just a little bit spotty right now. You know, our inability to kill enemies quickly on this room is emblematic of what's wrong with this run in general. I will take a health upgrade, thank you. Now, that's not me complaining. That's just me being honest. Okay, I gotta, I gotta think about this. Keep in mind... Pheromones, another health upgrade. Well worth it, even if we spend three keys and get nothing else of value. I am a fool, but at least we did get some bombs out of this room. We should've, you know what? But we should've still uh, opened that other red chest. Still pretty good. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. HP is all well and good, but we need to convert it. We need to convert it into a more usable form for us. By that, I basically just mean... I'm trying to come up with 13,000 different ways to say we need damage. I'm not sure if it's working. Dude, you know, okay, non-standard items that would be good for us? Technology. Technology, high rate of fire, homing tiers, that's a fun combination. You know, you can hang your hat on having a good time on a run like that. Please continue to walk into the spikes. Or roll into the spikes. Doesn't bother me. One's as good as another as far as I'm concerned. If we really want to tempt fate, or test fate... Oh! We have a one-third chance of a deal with the devil. I want to see it. I want to see it. We knew we were going to get the Bible at some point. And you know what? I, dare I suggest the Bible actually might be, at least for the rest of this floor, the right uh, combination of uh, firepower but also utility. No, it doesn't really make any sense because the firepower is zero. You know what? Emperor card. I feel it in my bones. My, sorry. My bones are very bad. It's worth noting, I don't have reliable bones. What percentage of people in North America do you think have broken a bone in their life? I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say 25% of people. And I want this to, I want it to be known it needs to be a diagnosable bone break. I'm pretty sure 98% of people on planet Earth think they've broken a toe. But then as soon as you think you break your toe, there's always like some 80-year-old in your family tree that's like, Well, I mean, we can go to the hospital, but if you have a broken toe, all they do about it is tell you it's broken and then to heal up. You know, there's no toe casts. And I'm not specifically calling Robert out. I also was told the exact same thing as a child. I stubbed my toe really bad, changed colors, heard a loud crack. My grandparents were like, yeah, it's probably broken, but they don't do anything about broken toes. They just tell you it's broken. So, you know, we can go to the hospital if you want. It, it wasn't really like a suck it up sort of moment. They, You know, I think they're right, to be honest, but I, I don't know, I'm not an osteo per what's the I'm not a bone doctor an orthopedic surgeon bone doctor great license plate though especially if you drive a lifted Ford F150 right now there's like three people watching this video that are like he's calling me out yeah I'm calling you out if your truck is lifted or lowered I'm calling you out if you gotta turn your Honda Civic sideways to get over the speed bump that lets you exit your high school, I'm calling you out. Just install some hydraulics, bro. Glaucoma. 
one of these days, there's just they're gonna be out of items that are not good. I believe it will happen. I don't even think we want another health upgrade, to be honest with you. Take me over 500. I don't care if you shoot me. That's where we're at on this. Okay, I'm mad though. Okay. This is a good time for it to break, I guess. Um. And you know what? I'm actually going to stick. Well, no, I'm not going to stick with the Bible. That's that's selfish. In my head, I'm like, well, we could use it to kill mom quickly. Yeah, but like, that's worth almost nothing. Yum Heart is also worth almost nothing, but probably a slightly larger proportion of nothing. Anyway, what I was getting at. I was, people who have broken a bone are always like 100%. 100% of people out there have broken a bone. Not true. I've never broken a bone. I know a lot of people out there have never broken a bone. But they always mention it like it's something to be proud of. Like, man, I've never broken a bone. It's not that hard. I've gotten bruises, scrapes. I had testicular surgery when I was in high school. Broke my nose a couple of times. That's just cartilage, though. It's a different story. I've still never broken a bone. I've fallen off things, punched, kicked, bicycle accidents, etc., etc. It's surprisingly not really that difficult to not break a bone. I had a friend in. Uh, it, it, here's I always think about this when when bone breakers talk about. It. I mean, you didn't have a real childhood if you ain't ever broken a bone, dude. So I had a friend in middle school. I still have his copy of Xenosaga. If you want it back, just, you know, apologize to me for the way you treated me in high school. And you can have it back. How does that? It's fair trade. We're both adults now. Anyway, um, by the way, I don't have it anymore. My parents have it. They probably also donated it to, like, Value Village or something. Anyway, screw you. So, um, this idiot, uh, good friend of mine back in the day, uh, he came to school one day. He had a cast on his arm. And we went, hey, dude, what happened? Man, you ain't lived unless you ever broken a bone. You know how this guy broke it? What was he, uh, jet skiing in the French Riviera? No. Oh, he, skiing accident in Aspen, Colorado. Nope. He was playing StarCraft, and he got mad because he lost to the computer, and he smashed his arm on his chair, breaking both his chair and his arm in one fell swoop. Man, you ain't ever lived unless you've broken a bone. Kids these days are so sheltered, they don't even break their own bones throwing temper tantrums at video games. Anyway, he's a good guy. Temporarily, maybe less so as an adolescent, but I mean, who wasn't a worse person when they were a teenager? If you, if you became a, a better person, or if you became a worse person as an adult than you were as a teenager, it's time to reevaluate where you're at in your life, I think. The sins of the teen don't pass to the father. Wait, I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense. Dude, this run, I, I, I've hit, I've, I'm realizing now, I'm at the crest. And all I mean by that is I, I'm starting to want to get good items ASAP or my focus is gonna dwindle at like a record pace so we got good and reusable HP that's a big part of what's going on here we do need to go to our item room we have good speed on this run as well what is bad eh, pretty much everything else well wait, wait, sneeze <coughs> thank you thank you for allowing me to Form that involuntary reaction. That was my bad. Easy come, easy go. Like I said, NL's focus. It's about a half hour at any given moment. Now, Judas's shadow is a cruel item for us to get right here. It's uh, obviously good, but we can't become Judas. Or we lose the value of being on this run in general. So I'm going to save this I'm drowsy pill. The idea being, I'm drowsy works way better on uh, Mega Satan. 
I also, I always feel the need, because there's still a small contingent of people out there that anytime you get a run like this, they go, finally, and now has an average run. You just, just go back to statistics class, okay? Or rather, in all likelihood, go to it for the first time ever. This is not an average run. I got the largest sample size between the two of us, in all likelihood. And I ain't out there holding... That was bad. That was worse. I ain't out there holding R whenever my first item room's not a damage upgrade, unlike most Isaac players in the modern day and age. I'm toughing it out. 32 minutes. Halfway through the mom fight. This is indicative of a, a one standard deviation worse than average run. Also, you don't know how hard it is to be me, dude. My nose is extremely itchy right now, and yet I can't scratch it. It's one of those itches that's just inside the nostril, so I'm happy I don't have a webcam on. Because it might look like I'm picking my nose, but actually I just have to scratch it. I mean, why do I have to, like, suffer through an itchy nose? Just because society says, you know, oh, he might be picking it. I'm not picking it, it just itches. It just itches. Nope. Not like this. Not like that either. Please. No deal! After all that, you give me no deal. Okay. Well, things become more interesting now. The real advantage of Bone Hearts is now on display. It's going to give us good protection for deal with the devil. We have to get hit twice before getting uh, any hearts, any regen, or any uh, charges on Yum Heart. So it's actually like insanely great. It's, it's pretty unlikely that that'll happen. Now we just need our deal with the devil to not be Krampus, and it's like a 99% guarantee that it will be because we haven't fought him yet. Uh, and then we just need to get a deal with the devil on the floor after that with a 33% chance to do so, and uh, then we'll be happy. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? Maybe if we think you wish an open prey, it might come true. Maybe we could pick up our first damage upgraded with Ruu. Start me with a freaking train wreck run first of the day. Okay, it's not, admittedly, it's not quite a train wreck run, but it's, it's down there. It is. It is! You know, you're talking the new NL. You're talking to uh, Oprah Winfrey's The Secret NL. NL who's happy with any run as long as it doesn't call his mother the W word. That's right. I'm trying to think of a good W word. I mean, obviously I can think of a couple, but... Uh, Walmart. No, doesn't really... Okay, please. You should not take this many hits to kill at this point. Please! Please! Pretty fly. That's really good. Speed up. I'll take it. I'm drowsy. Get out of my face. I cannot stomach fighting more bosses before Mega Satan. Because all I can think of right now, and I'll admit, I'm tilting like the freaking uh, Lusitania here. I'm tilting like the USS Indianapolis. Oh, it was 85 years ago. Get over it. Um, help. Help. Um, all I can think of as I do these fights is that I'm going to have to do every single one of them again on Mega Satan. And then also fight Mega Satan. So I'm really, really, really just bagging. For a little bit of support here. I do like your face, Chubb. 
and congratulations. How many chubs has NL killed has, has something to do over the course of today's episode that makes one of us? I had to keep reminding myself. This is a freaking womb one. I know it's been a while since I've slipped in the full insufferability. It's been a while since we had a run this truly awful. Yet still 100% survivable and likely guaranteed to succeed. The heck are you? So let's let's start thinking positively. What could we get from the boss? Ideal. Deal with the devil item. Let's fight the fallen. Secondary. All stats upgrade. Magic mush in particular. Next. Definitely damage over rate of fire. Oh, at least it does break the cap. So that's still pretty useful. I'm never going to look down on that. Uh, and then we do... We're 100% going to have a deal with the devil. As much as, I, you know, me thinks the lady doesn't protest too much. Krampus would be bad. Relative to the best items we could get. Well, this is the worst. Um, but... Getting Lump of Coal would not be that bad relative to what I might even suggest is an average deal with the devil item. But I really... I mean, this is the only boss for whom I would suggest we do not have a guaranteed deal with the devil chance on. Despite the fact that we have Yum Heart and all that available right now. This guy's patterns are just too screwed up. I still haven't gotten them committed to memory. He's a real pain in the butt. The power creep on the on the booster pack bosses is real. Yep. Yep. I mean, I'm trying. I, you can see I'm not standing still and firing shots. I'm going for it here. You, where did I stepped on creep? Okay. We still have a 100% deal with the devil chance. What? Okay, so we're gonna. I don't know what's happening, but I love it. Lost a lot of HP in the process here. But dude, that's... Honestly, that's just because this guy's hard. We got a range upgrade. I just... I'm like... All of the neurotransmitters, all of the, you know... Chemicals, the feel-good chemicals in my brain have been sapped from me at this point. We basically traded 2 HP for a lump of coal and a range upgrade. The worst part about it is we never had a choice. No bombs. Can't even play the vanity here. Good God. So, what, what happens next? Well, I, I have to be honest, Lump of Coal is the best item we've gotten in quite some time. Now, you can either take that as a positive, or you can take that as an indication of how bad a lot of our items have been. I know how I'm taking it, and out of politeness, you know, I was taught if you don't have anything good to say, Wait until what you're saying it about is not on screen and talk about it behind its back, perhaps in an Uber. Okay. I was gonna actually talk about like, oh well, what about Hush? Maybe we could get something on the Hush fight? Yeah. Maybe we can go back in time 15 minutes and get something on the Hush fight. So we do still have to do Delirium as Maggie, but they, you gotta remember, this is not Maggie's fault. This run, uh, it's actually okay now. Okay, that, that was my bad. I, I created a confusing situation there. It's just the nexus of bad stuff. Like, right from the get-go, this run was a little cursed by starting with, you know, not even enough keys on the first two floors to go to the first item room. Doesn't happen very often. Thankfully. This one, okay, just let's focus on the positive. I actually feel like we got a lot more killing power than we used to. 
Lump of coal plus incredible rate of fire means that we're only like a damage upgrade short of having what could be actually a pretty strong run, all things considered. Homing tears. You know, obviously, like, if we get something like Brimstone, we're in love. But at this point, we, we obviously cannot rely on that. Um, we do also only have to fight Mega Satan. I don't know if that's really that much of a, a win. Yeah, I got trapped. I mean, that, you know, definitely one of, like, the top three or four hardest bosses in the game. I don't think Mom's heart should be that bad. We got some good Mom's heart counters. We can stand back, high rate of fire, just dodge the shots as they come in. I mean, that's obviously, like, a little harder than it sounds, but... Thank God for the occasional slow from spider bite there. Opened up a window we could use to sneak. Very good. We did get a deal. The deal is for a guppy item. I I feel like this is emblematic of our run. I took the guppy item, even though there's a very, very low chance we become guppy. Why would I do that? Um, because there's a chance we become guppy. And that would that would do a lot of redeeming. This run is irredeemable, but it would at least, it, you know, it's like being a, a confessed murderer or something. You can never bring it back. You know, you never redeem yourself. But you can at least show the parole board you got remorse. You know, you could start working towards a college degree while inside of the pen. I'm not saying it's easy. You got a lot of factors working against you. I'm just saying, you know. Well, we gotta check that. Dark bum. I think that it is probably worth one HP. And I, I wish I could resent the game for waiting this long to give me the potentially great stuff, but I don't resent the game. Quite the opposite. Instead, I'm happy the game at least gave me the opportunity at some point to pick up an item of this caliber. Hopefully we can stack up a few demon hearts, or sorry, a few spirit hearts before the boss. Before Mega Satan, I mean. Not Isaac. Isaac, we basically just have the perfect. That was probably our best chance to become Guppy. We didn't get Guppy, but Dark Bum is a decent pickup. Much better if you get it earlier, but hey, you know. I don't want to be that guy who's like, oh, my life sucks. And then, you you know, you win the lottery for like a billion dollars. And he's like, yeah, but it gets taxed, though. <laughs> okay, grab that, please, my friend. Welcome. You hungry? Okay. All we wanted to see were luck upgrades. Doubled coins cannot be luck upgrades. But it's a thought that counts. Red hearts, please. Well, it's actually quite good. No, please, stay as far... <sighs> stay as far away as you'd like. Thanks to the lump of coal. Don't mind that whatsoever. Would like to... Oh, you fool. Dude, I would really, really like to keep this Eternal Heart active. I have a strong, positive feeling towards this Eternal Heart. Whatever, we don't need... We're not going to need 30 keys. Goodbye, Eternal Heart. Stop! Just stop, okay? Like, we're over it. We don't have to do that anymore.
amazing. What happened to the drowsy pill? I would much rather have one makes you drowsy. That is not what that pill is called. I would much rather have I'm drowsy. <laughs> Hold on, lemon party. I would much rather have I'm drowsy than even 28 bombs on the boss fight. I believe that. It wouldn't be 20, it'd be like 25 bombs, but that's kind of pedantic. Thanks for bringing it up, Point Dexter. 46 minutes of banal items that have no impact whatsoever, combined with the occasionally useful item, have led to this moment. Look. It's not looking good for Maggie's chances. For the run, it's looking okay. We could win as Mag or we could win as Dark Judas. I know that we've already done that. But we could we could still do that. You know, you got to Take the good with the bad here. I'm also hoping that maybe we just get super lucky. And, I don't know. If we get three out of four good items on the chest. The world's our oyster. Maybe. By the way, great pickup in Dark Bum. It's one third of the way to its first potential payout. Oh, good. Okay. Fantastic. Four question marks. Mom's Eye. Useless. Iron Bar. Not horrible. Bob's Brain. Truly terrible. Taurus. Okay, here's what Taurus means. And uh, I hate it, but it's the truth. Taurus means we have to go through every single room for a chance to get more stuff. How to jump takes us a little closer to bookworm, at least. For all of my negativity, it's actually a good thing. Never mind, it's horrible. But, like, I, you just assume that at some point, if you keep toughing it out, eventually the curses will stop. The curses on this run never stop. This run is fully cursed. It's up to us to defeat the curse. Now, could I have met the game a little... I, I don't even want to say it halfway, because I'm 89.9% of the way there, and the game's like, do I really have to give you 10.1%? I mean, come on, what is this? Venezuela? Look... You just, you gotta, you gotta do your part on this one, game. Just a couple of good items, help, uh, help Dark Bum pay out a few times. That's it, it's not, I'm not asking the world of you. Please, an item. Okay, let's, let's lower up. All right, we're Dark Judas. Okay, so here's the thing. With Dark Judas, you know what? We don't have to, we've already done everything as Judas. So you know what? We don't have to fight Mega Satan, Mega Satan anymore. I'm very flustered. Yes, I am. Yeah, go ahead. Pay out. Go, give me some spirit arts. Just in time. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Hey, what's this? A good item? No, not really. Um, but that would have fit the narrative very, very well, admittedly. You got me, game. You, you wore me down. It took you 49 minutes, but you got me. Ah, uh, yeah, what? Oh, what's this polyphemus proptosis? Just in time. Really appreciate it. G gave you my all on this run from front to back. And what do I get repaid with? Irony. I exclusively get paid back with irony. Thanks for all the spirit hearts, just in time. All right, like I said, what was weird is that, you know, this run is still gonna be good. You know, like it's gonna end in a win and it fairly easily could have ended in a loss. So I'm, I wouldn't say I'm proud of my performance, but I do think it was not unadmirable. Just like a, a totally screwed run. The whole way through. So we'll be back, you know, and it's... 
I don't mind having another Maggie run. Another chance at the crown. Another chance at greatness. Don't want to end up a cartoon in a cartoon graveyard. Gonna be a very easy win. No delirium. Take me out. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps us a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when things will be better. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be damage upgrades.